Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. Plus, I have a really great group of uh, subscribers, so you're going to love it here. Hang out. So this is another episode. Actually, this is episode 99 of Coffee with Kim. So um, good morning. I'm going to burn my tongue. I do every morning. Oh, good coffee. Let me fix this camera down a little bit. Did I do it? No, of course I didn't do it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Did that help? I don't know. Anyway, hi, everybody. It is Tuesday. So I'm excited <clears throat> for tomorrow's uh, crochet class. Now, we have a winter storm warning in effect, and it starts tomorrow. So I don't know if they're going to cancel the class or not. I hope not because um, I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, I hope not. And plus, I mean, I know dad used to say that snow is the poor man's fertilizer. I get it. I'd rather pay for fertilizer. <laughs> I can't stand it. By the way, check out Lucy up here. Lucy. She's she's styling with her spring hat on. So I'm still, all right. So I can't remember if it took me this long to get crochet as it is get taking me to get knit. I mean, the first few rows are not bad. But then it, you can see like right here, there's the space. I don't know. So I'm going to pull it back out. But I do love this yarn. This was in my stash. So I'm going to try to make myself a scarf with it. If I can get to the point where I don't have to keep pulling it back out again. That's all right. Practice, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Another saying my father used to say, did he? Was it dad that said that? I don't know. I just attribute all my sayings and isms to dad. So yeah, I've been trying this and I'm going to keep trying this and hopefully someday I will wrap a scarf around my neck and say, there's my first knitting project. But until then, um, I got a little bit farther on my poncho. Uh, let's see, how far did I get? Now, I actually changed up the pattern a little bit. So um, I got it from Cinnamon Stitches. Yeah. And she was doing half doubles, double, half double, double. But I decided now that I've got like this part, let me... Let me put a stitch marker in here so I don't lose my progress, which would make me very sad if I lost my progress. I'm using my beautiful thing from Karen, which I use every single day, a million times a day, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to put this in there to hold my stitch. So now that I've got this so that it is, you know what, covering here. I'm going to start my pattern with one double crochet, two half double, one double, two half double. I kind of like that better, but I really love this. I mean, it clashes with the shirt I have on right now, but I am so in love with these colors. So that's how far I am on this. It's a little bit. I mean, considering everything I got done yesterday. Oh, I was thinking, what did I get done yesterday? Well, we took a walk out in the garden. I hope you guys were able to join with that. There's a lot of growth. Um, the first trip we took is right here as I look out my window. So I can watch as the buds on the lilacs get bigger. I do have to move those barrels. They're heavy. And I have to do it when Fritz isn't outside with me because um, he just 
whatever mom is into, he's up in it. And I don't want to roll one of them, <clears throat> excuse me, and have him uh, get in front of it. So that happened. Um, let's see. <laughs> Took Fritz for two walks yesterday. And again, the neighbors absolutely just, they love him. It's so funny. So then um, Mr. Fortunate and I were watching, <clears throat> excuse me, we were watching the evening news and everybody's talking about the eclipse. And um, so I guess here in upstate New York, it's going to be a total eclipse of the sun. And I, I know we had one in 2017, but it was only partial. So I think I can remember we had a total eclipse somewhere in my lifetime. I want to say it was about 20 years ago, 22 years ago. I don't know. It was a while ago. So anyway, that being said, I'm trying to get myself excited for it because you know what? It's history. So I made this. What is this? This is an eclipse box. Aha! All right, so here's the premise. This has a pinhole in it, right about there. I don't know if you can see the pinhole. Yeah, there it is. So it's got a pinhole in it. So what you do is you stand with your, the sun is back here, and you look through this hole, and the sun goes through the pinhole, and you can watch the eclipse happen. <laughs> this is a Ziploc bag <clears throat> box. And I made it into an eclipse viewing box. You want to see how? Right? Why not? We got nothing else going on. Here we go. Here's what you're going to need. You don't have to make it as elaborate as this. I was just being silly. And I was just being creative. And then on the other side, I wrote, don't blink. I don't know why. That was just the saying that came to my brain at the moment. So here's what you're going to need. A box of some sort, cereal box. I happen to have my Atkins caramel, by the way, they're really good. Uh, my Atkins box. So what you need is just any form. You need it long enough where you can just peek through it. Okay. And the, oh, there's a coupon in there. Good to know. I won't be using it because this is going to be another box. Okay, so I'm going to make this one to send to work with Mr. Fortunate because he's going to be at work Monday when the eclipse goes. So you take the box <clears throat> and you need one piece of aluminum foil that is the width of half the box. You need one piece of white paper. I'm actually using an old envelope. And you just take the box, put it on the paper, and outline it so you can what you're going to do is take this and put it inside there. So let's do that. I'm going to cut this. Bear with me. It's so easy and it's so fun. And it's a once in a lifetime, maybe twice for some people. All right. So you just take this. I know there's writing on the back, but who cares? And you're going to take a piece of tape and put it on the bottom so it sticks to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So I just take the piece of tape and you're going to just slide it in here because, I mean, this bottom is white, so I might be able to skip this, but you just want to make sure it's a totally white bottom. And you just press it to the bottom, flatten it out. I'm telling you, you're going to be ready for the eclipse. You'll thank me. Fun to do with the kiddos too. So, um, all right, so that's in there. It's pressed on the bottom. And then super simple. All you're going to do is cut out two holes in the lid. Okay. You want like a bar in the middle. So we're going to cut that off. And we're going to cut that off. How funny would it be to put this in a time capsule and have them open it in, in 20 years and be like, what the heck is this? 
All right, so you've got your two sides, okay? You're just going to take a piece of tape. I'm using white duct tape just because I have it. And you're going to tape the middle so it's nice and secure, okay? Again, nothing has to be perfect. Nothing has to be, you know, measured. You're just going to make sure you have two different holes. Now this one's going to get covered with the aluminum. And you can tape that down. You can use any tape you want. Like I said, I'm just using this tape because I have it. And it's easier that I already have it. I was using it for something else, so I have it ripped. Just fold it like you would a birthday present or a Christmas present on the side and tape it on. Does not have to be fancy. It can be fancy if you want it to, but it does not have to be. Okay, nice and tight. Tape it on there. And then go ahead and you want to make sure that no other light gets through. So you kind of want to make sure you peek in here and make sure, yep, that's good. Okay. So now if your box is kind of thin material, you can do what I did and line it with construction paper. So this box was really thin. It's just a Ziploc box, which I have another one I'm going to make for my daughter. But um, when you look through this one, you can see that it's kind of thin. So I lined it with black construction paper, just wrapped it like it's a present. So you want to make sure when you peek through the hole, you see no light coming through. Okay. So you may have to play with this one a little bit because I can see other light coming through. But for the purpose of my demonstration, we'll just do it this way. All right. So here, I mean, you're pretty much done, except all you have to do is grab a needle and poke a hole right in the aluminum foil and you're done. So when the eclipse comes, the important part is the sun is behind you. Never look at it. Don't ever look at it. So the sun is behind you. So you face the dot and you look through here and you'll be able to watch the eclipse happen. So there you go. And then just make it as pretty as you want. I did one with a um, wheat thins box. <laughs> Walking on sunshine. Come on. I'm just trying. So these are fun to make. Have the kids do it. How you know? And there's also a version you can make with a toilet paper roll, but I didn't like that one. It just seemed a little too flimsy. I didn't like it. So anyway, um, I used boxes instead and that's it. You're done. Other than, you know, blinging it up a little bit <clears throat> and then you're ready to be part of history and watch the eclipse. I'm not sure in your area, you know, I know out west, I think it's going to be a partial eclipse. And here in the northeast, I believe it's a full one. And that's why everybody's making such a big to-do about it. Um, they're actually, some of the schools are closing either for the day or half day on Monday so that the kids aren't on the bus when the eclipse happens. At first I was like, what is the big deal? And now I'm a little, little excited. So that's that. What else? Oh, you want to see what I got from Joann's? Now they were having a sale. I can't remember who. Somebody bought from it. Somebody that I watch on YouTube. I can't remember who. So it's not my fault. When they tell you <clears throat> that skeins of really nice yarn are $2. Anyway, so I got two of these big twist party. 
so fun. Very pretty colors. What's well, it's a hundred percent acrylic. What's the color? Succulent. All right. I'll give them that. How do I get there? You go. Isn't that fun. It's coming off a little bit more blue on the screen, but it is uh, more green to me. I think back here, you might be able to see it. And yes, I painted my nails blue. My sister's got the bug in me now, so I'll do this for about a week and then I'll peel it all off and I'll get sick of it. Anyway, so I got two of these. And then I absolutely fell in love with these colors. Now this is the um, Red Heart Granny Square. All in one Granny Square. And I'm going to try it. Um, I believe the pattern is on the inside right? Step by step on the back. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to have to take the label off, which I don't love, but whatever. And, uh, I'm going to try it the way they say to do it. I know other people have done it and I won't bother you with step by step. If I, you know, as I'm doing it, I'll let you know if I figure out how to do it and if it comes out. Okay. Cause you know, I love me the granny squares. So there we go. Such pretty colors. It's gray, black, and tan, and off-white. So pretty. What'd they call this one? Soft white shadow box. Soft white shadow, sorry. Soft white shadow. Yeah, it's it's beautiful colors. I A poncho in this would be so beautiful. Me and my ponchos. I've got many. <laughs> I've got three that I keep for myself. And I've made about five others that I'm going to bring to the, um, some of the sales that I'm going to be in. See if I could sell them. But if not, then I will have five or seven ponchos that I wear. <laughs> no colors switching, just keep on stitching. <laughs> well, they're clever. Now I want to see what the pattern is. Does it just peel? It should peel off. Oh, they made it restickable. Is that a word? Did I just make up a word? It's restickable. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's just see. Let's just see what it says to use. Ooh, best invest crochet t-shirt. Very tiny, very tiny writing. I'm just trying to see. Where's the actual pattern? Oh. Yeah, so, um, oh, it is written. Okay, good. Maybe. All right. First round, chain six, three double ch crochet, chain three. Yeah. So you're, <clears throat> you make the circle and you do, okay. Got it. Does it tell you what, it's got to tell you what size needle to use, right? Or what size hook to use. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Does it tell you on here what size hook? <clears throat> yes, right here. It must. Five and a half. Five and a half millimeter hook, which is my favorite hook anyway. All right. We're going to try this. Add it to the list. Now I can stick this back on, which I love. <laughs> like it never happened. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. So today is the first Tuesday of the month. So I'm off to a treasure hunt as soon as I'm done here. Every Salvation Army around, which I have one, two, three, four. I have four of them I can go to. 
And every one of them is half price for anybody 55 and over. These are the days when I don't mind being in that club. So, <laughs> so I'll be doing that. And then when I come back, I don't know if you guys caught my video, but I've been making a bunch of these little guys. So I did starfish or stars actually, and butterflies. And then after I finished my video, I actually made, hold on, bear with me. <laughs> if you're going to San Francisco, ow, hold my hair. Be sure to wear pretty flowers in your hair. <laughs> so I made one of those. I love them, right? I absolutely love them. Oh, if you hear a weird noise, my washing machine is, uh, I'm trying to wash a area rug. It's not working. I'm going to have to pause you and go fix it. Hang on. All right, I'm back. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I was wearing pretty flowers in my hair. How cute is that? So it's, if you watched, Al, if you watched the video where I made them, this is just the butterfly not folded over. Uh -huh. I think it's the door. And I put a pink thing in the middle. So I'm making a bunch of those. I learned a trick. You ready? So I have one of these bowls where, you know, you put your ball in it and which is, you know, it is what it is. I painted it, of course, because it was just a plain brown. So I painted it and I was using it for something else. So I needed another one and I'm like, oh, I don't have it. Sorry. I saw something. I didn't know what it was. So I'm like, oh, I need another one. I'm not buying another one, this and that. And then I realized if you simply take a grocery bag at your feet and you drop the ball of yarn in it, <clears throat> it actually works better than this. So I've been doing that instead. So if you don't want to spend $14 on a bowl, um, or if you need more than one, a shopping bag. So all I did was I put this here. I dropped the ball of yarn in it. Off I went and it works perfectly. So there you go. I just saved you $14. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I literally slept the whole night last night. Not like me at all. But, um, yeah, Fritz and I went to bed at 9.15. Where's my other? Oh, there it is. We went to bed at 9.15 and um, did not wake up until 5.30 this morning. That's why I am a bit snippety this morning, as mom would call it. Snippety. Don't be so snippety this morning. Man, I, had, I was quick with the comebacks. <laughs> I'm snippety. So... All right, you guys, it's Tuesday. It's 7.30. By the time I upload this and get everything ready, it's going to be time for me to head out to my treasure hunt. Plus, I got to do the post office. Oh, my goodness. Retire, they said. It's relaxing, they said. <laughs> ah, no, thank you very much. I'm busier now than I ever was, but I love it. Don't forget, please, please, please. There will not be a recorded coffee with Kim tomorrow. I'm going to be doing it live tomorrow at 7 p.m. because it is my 100th episode. I'm going to have a great giveaway. I have a, um, a project bag filled with 100 things. And then apparently I have a steam iron. Why not? It's a steam iron. Why not? And uh, maybe a couple other things. I'm not sure, but... We're going to have a good time. It's my 100th episode, so please mark it on your calendar. If anybody actually has a calendar anymore. But put um, subscribe to my channel and um, hit that bell so you get all my notifications and you'll you'll see that it's already planned and ready to go. And then you can click on it and it'll, it'll notify you when I come on. So I would love, could you imagine if I got 100 people on my 100th episode? I probably won't. The most I've ever had is like 30, but a girl's got to have goals, right? 
<laughs> Speaking of goals, I am at 974. I got to stop pointing because it's annoying. 974 subscribers. So there's a goal too. Share, share, share. Tell everybody how silly I am. And uh, if they like crafting, if they like any kind of crafting, you know we're going to talk about it. So send them my way and um, have a great day. Get to a Salvation Army today because it might be half price. Remember, where is it? Be creative. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.